Nice! I don't think I need to do an intro after that. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the ESR <laughs> Sunday and Chill Series with DMTM92. I am your host, Cole McCray. That's Matt Higgs. I'm just going to... No, call... the name is X... <laughs> X... Oh. Aliciousness. Oh, God, he's back on the key and peel freaking kick. Ugh. Yeah, why not? Sure, let's just go with it. We're, you're Xing at Aliciousness. <laughs> Man, it's been, what, a year since we did that? Oh, at least... Uh, but, um, anyway, yeah, we are at Mantorp. This is round six. We have low turnout, nine people, as you can see, eight officially, and then we have a ninth Evo Headseas, uh, with Team Concentrate. That guy's name gives me Kim Peel vibes. It kind of does. Um, but, yeah, legend has it, he hails from a country that existed many millennia ago, but was really? recently, uh, unearthed. By the, the the recent um, what's it called the recent winter storms in Texas, and uh, the 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 ice caused it to uh, be unearthed again. Um, but yeah, that's all unconfirmed. We're not sure. We also have Maxime Max Z three eighteen is. So, I mean, if I was cool, I would say uh, uh, nope. Z Z E latest Z E L bis. If I was lead enough, but I'm not. Uh, we also have, we also have uh, frequenters of the series: Zydrum, John Spriggs. Oh, there they are: Richard Derusha, Marisa Legato, Martin Edmonds, Scott Nix, Steve Davidson, and Takahide Maroka. In that order. It's Hell just, yeah! Let's go, guys. Looking at the teammates, I'm reminded that uh, John Spriggs used to be called Moly Moly Moly, because he's Holy Moly Racing. Team Holy Moly Racing. That's right. And we have all variants of ESR in there somewhere. Team Canada for the win. Team Communism for the win. Hey, just because you can't get you can't get free health care doesn't mean we're communist. It does. Just it does kidding. Not. Uh, but yes, yeah, so that is our qualifying order. Uh, as always, we have three races at ten minutes each, with a top. Well, it normally it's like top what twelve reverse grid or something, but. No, I think it's top eight. Well, top eight would be a little bit much right now, but you never know. And then, uh, yeah, with uh, we'll we'll just we'll just play it by ear. I mean, that's how it usually goes. I am kind of excited because uh, the season is coming to a head. With uh, this is round six, round seven at Oxford and next week will be our uh, or in two weeks rather will be our uh, final race. And so we actually have some. Uh, Interesting stuff going on. I tell you what, Cole. Uh, when this series ends, I'm gonna cry. I will too. Well, I, I'm kind of surprised at our low turnout. Anyhow, we're on the grid. The lights are flashing. When will we start? It will be. Three, two, one, start. Damn, I was nope. off. Now we start. <laughs> okay, race one of the uh, sixth round. Amirsa Delgado starts characteristically high, but seems to not get that great of a launch. Martin Edmonds goes around the inside. But John Question. Spriggs. Oh, whoops, I got that backwards. Martin Emmer's on the outside. John Spriggs goes around the inside. So, Mantorp is an interesting track. Um, one of my favorites of the small Scandinavian circuits. Uh, Mauricio's going to have a rough time here. I'll just put it that way. It is. I'm surprised he qualified as high as he can, but we can see that he's getting battered and bruised even on lap one. Oh, is this a short circuit? Oh, it might be. Oh, that's even worse. Sorry, lads, for the uh, fighter jets flying above. Uh, we're going to invade Canada soon. So uh, we're, we're mobilizing our forces. There's jets flying over? That's dope. I figured you could hear it through the uh, through my mic, but maybe you can't. If you can't, there's anything. jets. Whoa, Mauricio goes way Whoa, sideways Mauricio. up in the distance. As you can see from uh, Takahiri Maruka's on board. He's actually made up, uh, made up some space. Something must happen with Martin Edmonds. Because, yeah, Mauricio made up some ground. I've never driven, I think this is Mantorp, what, east? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, a little contact there in the background. Let's see you. Hey. It, says, nope. it says long circuit, but I don't think so. Oh, you know what? No, 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 it is, it is, it is. I'm, I'm getting my tracks backwards. I thought this was, uh, uh, for some reason, when I read Mantorp, my brain... Enderstorp? My, no, my brain uh, pulled up Newtstorp. Um, too, too many storps. 
No, no, this thing is too many storps. I don't even know what Go that ahead, means. Yeah, Bob. Man, torp. Uh, but yeah. So talking about Make America's MSU's great to... again. We got another uh, person joined. I, you know, I, I think, I think the uh, timing guy is on an off week because uh, who's uh, P Leo Bob in ninth place? Not sure. If I wasn't dumb, I'd think that was a fake name. I mean, not any more than uh, Matt Higgs or uh, X Wing at Deliciousness. Whoa! Uh -oh. That looks to be head seas. I will never know. Steve Davidson in seventh no, place. Leo Bob. Someone. What? Leo Bob oh, it is Leo Bob, you're rest. right. Oh, Leo, Leo Bob, not Leo Bob. Yeah, I say Leo Bob. turn number what? Uh, this is last turn. Last turn. So Steve Davidson out on a run against Scott Nick. Oh, is he gonna dive? He is. Oh, Scott's trying to close the door. Oh, Scott undershoots a little wide. So and when I when I thought he won. What's that? I'm just saying Scott held him off on the outside. Oh yeah, Scott was on the outside. Sorry, he held it around there. Seems so. Josiah Drum, our leader, is the only one to be in an Audi. Uh, and with these uh, short straights, it seems to be the, the optimal choice. Well, with the all-wheel drive of that big old Audi sedan. Uh oh, someone went back to the pits. It's Headsees. Headsees retiring from the race. Okay, now I think these guys aren't really trying. They're doing this on purpose with these names. <laughs> I mean... Certainly possible. You, uh, I mean, I don't remember what to call you half the time, so could be valid. Kind of really got a holding on to fourth place, but not uh, not holding on to too much time. We're getting a lot of pretty big gaps here, with the exception Whoa. of oh, right here, where Takahide outbreaks himself and slides into Scott Nick. I just still love tap, you know. Just let him know he's tap. there. Luckily, no one got all his nerves a little bit. Yeah, luckily no one seems to be any worse for wear after that. So, whatever. I mean, this is ESR Sunday and chill, so, I mean, I, honestly, I'm expected we haven't had any fatalities yet. When are you going to do NSUs again, Matt? I don't know. NSU is permanently at... What track's the one that's really hilly? Uh... Oh, um... Yes, I, 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 I know exactly what track you're talking about, but I can't remember what the name is. Oh, this is going to kill me. Not Oxford Slavin, it's... Crap, this is going to this is gonna eat me up inside. You're going to remember it like three hours down the road. I, rem I remember it the second we stopped recording. <laughs> <laughs> Which is especially weird because we had like a whole series revolving around that track for the longest time. Oh, Bilsterberg. Bilsterberg. Bilsterberg, yeah. So, nice. Maxime is uh, getting a good run on Taki de Maroka through turn whatever that is. I don't know Mantorp well enough. Man. The gaps are steadily widening. Oh, who's that in the background? Might be Leo Bob. Or maybe Taka. Nope. Don't think so. Unfortunately, all the BMWs are more or less Park. identical with the lone exception of uh, John Spriggs, and that's pretty much it. But Scott Nick and Steve Davidson are having a laugh, at least so far. I've never really driven the uh, Mercedes 190E or the, uh, well, I've driven the M3, but not the, oh, wow. Speaking of which, Steve Davidson goes wide on the second to last turn. I have a feeling this track was built on an airfield. An old airfield. It was. Most of these Scandi small Scandinavian tracks are built off of airfields. Well, I guess when there's no world war, you have nothing else to do with the airfields, so might as well just make a racetrack on them, right? Yeah, well, I mean, a lot of these airfields were like weren't um, maintained throughout their uh, life, and since there's not a lot of wars going on in the middle of Europe, 
anymore. Or Middle East. Yes, that too. Yet. But, uh, yeah, so, like, well, I mean, no real reason to build these on the airfields. So, hey, race track manufacturer or designer, you want to have a go at it? He's like, sure. I'm John sure that's Spriggs exactly how it happened. John Spriggs has made up some great time on Richard Ooh, DeRoche. Look at Josiah's Josiah is running away with it. He's still up to a 6.8 second lead. Yeah, well, I mean, like you kind of mentioned earlier, Van Torp is very, does not really have uh, that many long straights, so... That Audi's all-wheel drive is gonna just uh, yeah, especially with the Quattro, it really helps get off the corners. Exactly. Yeah, in, in the distance, you can hear that Audi V8 just uh, peeling out. You can hear the bees. Bees. That too. I get it, Mercedes bees. I, I don't get it. What, what's the joke there? That, that was a terrible joke. Oh, Mercedes V's? Oh, okay. Got it. Understood. I just noticed how uh, John Spriggs' Tic Tac BMW, the Tic Tacs aren't, uh, like, you know, the little bubbles aren't evenly dispersed. Like, near that's the back in the numbers, annoying. they're, like, less. Oh! Scott that's Nick. uh that's Maxime going around. Oh, yeah, Can right. Leo Bob capitalize on that and get by? Uh, doesn't look like it. He's catching up. I don't even think he'll be within no nope. uh, slipstream distance. Though. I say Maxime is he's got going by now. I would believe it. John Spriggs still catching up on Richard Derouche. We're really happy for that slipstream. I was gonna say we're gonna have a slipstream train maybe, but looks like not. Dang it, I love it when that happens, when people just like go nuts on the straight and try to break the slipstream. <laughs> I'll do that at Silverstein. Oh, I'm aware. I am aware. Hey Cole. What's up? On Sunday, don't forget to press drive. I didn't forget to press drive last time, Matt. And even if that is, and even if that, even if that was a problem, I fully plan to not have sh internet problems next Sunday. So you can just shut your face hole. Nah, I gotta keep bringing it up so you don't forget. Thanks. Even though I didn't forget in the first place. Just making sure, you know. Keep it too careful. Thanks, Matt. You're you're a good friend. Anytime. <laughs> Anytime frequently. Yes. Ouch. Punch my desk. Whoa! Oh, Maxime, Maxime is having real big problems. Oh, there he goes. There's Leo Bob. There goes Leo Bob. Can that you looks say to be Leo the exact Bob? same turn he lost it on last lap. One of the nice things about Mantorp is that it's because uh, of the lack of straights, there's a lot of places you can lose it where you won't lose a huge amount of time. I mean, you know, obviously losing it will lose time no matter what, but you can minimize the loss. You guys are losing time? <laughs> Amateurs. No, we lose time by spinning, you lose time by getting excessive pit penalties. Hey, I haven't got one in a long time. Because you haven't raced in a long time. I raced... not last week, it was week four. That's yeah, so long ago. It says, it says I, the person who hasn't raced in equal amount of time. Probably even longer. No. It was, uh... It was last Wednesday. Oh, yeah! How'd that go? Uh, I mean... I ate. Didn't you get crashed out again? Or was that... That was Zanfort last two... Last Wednesday, wasn't it? Dang it, he sniffed me out. Yeah, it was two weeks ago. Uh, yeah, I... Yep. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Bad oh, feelings. You probably should have been there at the practice race. I don't. I don't have Imola. You don't have Imola? Just get it. No, I'm not gonna pay ten dollars for that. It's worth it. No, it isn't. I don't play ACC nearly enough. Lack of faith. I'm telling Mika. Lack of good game. Oh, oh. I'm just kidding. No, I just. I. I mean, Mika doesn't have it either. So. Wow. Wow. 
And then without the end of the race is nigh. Josiah Jerome, first place. J John Spriggs, second. Richard Derishi, third. Race of the Gato holding on to fourth place while Martin Edmonds slides into fifth. Steve wow. Davidson in sixth. Scott Nick in seventh. Takahiro Maroka. Leo Bob in ninth. Maxime, that name, in tenth. And uh, Evo Headseas in eleventh. I think people forgot the race app names are not their in-game names. That's been a problem we've been having for a while. I mean, it's gotten better and worse and better and worse. That's kind of how it is. But yeah, it's uh kind of interesting. I I uh, feel Mike's pain a little bit <laughs> with their organizational problems sometimes. But uh, this is a this is a Sunday and Chill series, so oh well, not we're not going to complain too much. Uh, this looking car's at looking that. mighty fine. What's that? What's up? I'm looking mighty fine. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking at that M3 and uh, reminiscing about how BMW grills used to be less than like 300 cubic meters in a volume. And the I don't race know how they fit them aside Germany. Oh, there goes to side Jerome with the mighty start with his Audi Quattro. So it looks like it's a top six reverse grid. No, what? It looks to be a random grid. Because Misha Dugato started seventh. I'm so confused. Whatever. It's Sunday Martin and chill. Fifth. Pull up a chair. It's in like third. That's weird. Immediately, Josiah Jerome is showing the power of that all wheel drive Audi. Seems the car to have. Oh, look at him. Look at him Whoa, fly. he's getting bullied by Scott Nick. Scott, the bumpers are not for pushing. I mean, they kind of are, though. Excuse me, I just sneeze. Meanwhile, oh, Taki America's uh... getting obliterated under braking by Josiah Jerome, Martin Edmonds. And I think that's it. Uh oh, oh no! Steve Davidson spun. Wow, that's a treacherous area. Takahita has to go to the inside to avoid contact, but loses a bunch of positions. Mariso has got to find himself back and forth. Richard Rusche in third. Martin Emmons fully in second. Scott Nick ends up going by as well. There's not a lot of BMWs out there. So wow, what a what a turn of events with Steve Davidson spinning dramatically as Richard Roche makes a dive on Martin Edmonds with Mauricio Delgado hot on his tail as well. Looks like Martin is struggling slightly with this track. I'm not entirely sure what's up with that as uh, Maxime goes drifting off into a field. It could have been no, remember he's driving like with an auto in one hand for much of this track. Oh yeah, I didn't understand what was going on with that. What, what, what did he mean, I, I'm wondering? I think he was one hand, driving one-handed with an automatic in this track. But I wonder why. Huh. Those will have to ask him. Josiah Drome is in another zip code, but now... Oh, it looks like Mauricio Legato spun. He's in 10th. Yeah, I thought... Ah, oh, my bad. That. I saw that earlier. I thought you saw that. No, I didn't. I was uh, looking at the Discord to see what Martin said. Speaking of, he's holding on to third place. Richard Rocher is the only thing hindering him from first place. And the three seconds gap to Jerome. Don't worry about it. Jeez. What? Oh, he slapped some weight on that Audi. I mean, it's already the heaviest car of the bunch by a not un not insignificant margin. Audi power. I wonder. Do you do you know, Matt? Is the uh, is the the Quattro system nowadays is all wheel drive? But back in the day, was it all still all wheel drive or was it four wheel drive? No, it's, it was always all wheel. Just huh. I think it was a different design of four wheel. Makes sense. I think between the B7 and B8 generations of the S4, they had like they changed the four-wheel drive system. Makes sense. Thinking about it now, I'm kind of curious why they called it Quattro. 
when Quattro is Spanish and they're Quattro a German is company. Four. Yes, I know what Quattro is, man. I speak Spanish. But they, why well, call it Quattro? And then they're like, and not like fear, fear drive or something. It'll it'll drive it fear into like the hearts of your enemies. I mean, in spite of Martin having to deal with only one hand, you know, because he's using his other one for, you know, uh, he's doing pretty well. Still holding on to third place. I mean, he's losing time to John Spriggs, formerly known, the artist formerly known as Moly. Although well, Moly is seeming to be struggling with some of these apexes. Not doing exactly poorly, but is, uh, not getting the ideal line. All well, these cars are not exactly the easiest ever to drive. Uh, I'm really just looking on Wikipedia to see if I can see something why it's called Quattro. It's really interesting that uh, these series are pretty wide open as far as what you can do with the car. I mean, oh, this is when DTM was at, at its, like, I guess some most people would call it the peak. Like, 92, 93, where they could basically do as much as they want and just do, like, not that many road cars. Yeah, I mean, they got, I mean, they're basically, like, proto silhouettes, which is a weird... Oh, oh wow, John Spriggs big demolishes John Martin Spriggs. Edmonds into the, la in the last corner. It looks like Martin is giving up, but not by very much. One that, car, don't be shy, turn in accidentally. That was a bold move. That was a that very was a full, bold move. Like elbows out, elbows to the head right there. Yeah, that that was a that was a choke slam if I've ever seen it. You pull can we get an animation? Uh no, I'm not an animator. Can you uh blame Ayrton? Put it, just like put the video in there? Yeah I can blame him, sure. Oh sweet. Maxime, no. Yeah, Maxime goes spinning. I don't know what it'll do, but, you know, you know, whatever. That'll be comedic. Just walk up to him and suplex. Oh, man, I haven't done a good suplex in a while. Man, it's really <laughs> irritating me how that logo on the back of Martin's car is off-center. Just barely. Oh, I hate it. I haven't noticed it. I just noticed it because the BMW logo isn't in the middle. And I assume you the BMW logo... You mean the Deutsche Post, like, logo? The yellow one. Yeah, Deutsche Post. Is that what that says? I'm running at like 144p, so I don't know. <laughs> Cole, your eyes run at 144p. Oh, got it. Got me. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I lay destroyed on the floor. <laughs> no. Alright, Emma's in the first corner. Three minutes left in the race. Indeed, it's true. Mirza Delgado has not had a lucky race. I mean, it's been whatever, but not no one's. We've we've had a very small number of bins or crashes or errors made this race. So unfortunately, he had to make his in his race where he was really starting out strong. Oh, he was on fire early on the first lap, making up places left and right, smacking people around. No, that's John Spriggs. No, he just choke slams. Choke slams. So Josiah Jerome putting up an even bigger show than last time. Eight seconds separates him and the second place competitor. Either Let's he's really good at Mantorp the or the Audi is. I suspect it's a mixture of both. Oh, Whoa, Steve, Steve Davidson. Davidson. Forgetting well, which pedal was the brake pedal. Here, trying to get out. What's that? Uh, where is it? Uh. Steve Davidson will be in the gravel trap for about a year trying to get out. No, these are not quite the NSUs. Uh, Josiah Jerome, I think, is uh, is will have uh, PTSD from from that time we he uh, we were racing at Nurburgring in the NSUs and he went off at the end and it took him about 20 minutes to get out of that. <laughs> <laughs> that was legendary. You know, Marisa Delgado in? has uh, taken over his position, so... He's caught Taka. 
He is hot on the tail of the uh, the man. All right, cool. Contain yourself with the sound of this V8 Mustang. I mean, we're not getting very much of it. Sadly, we don't have this freaking straight line. We need to do that on board there. Oh, he's Whoa, got a that big was looking for there. He's not using it yet. Whoa! 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 Oh, that was a nice picture, but I hope Mauricio was able to recover from that. What? That was a strange what happened there. It looked like he was trying to pass Taka, but Taka maybe was uh, on a, in a different line than he expected, and he tried to dodge and caught a bit of Scandinavian lock there. Looks like he's okay. Lost a little bit of time, but not much. What time in the video are you? Uh, 2840, 2841, 42, 43, etc. Are you okay? 20, 2040, right? 2850, 2051, 52, 53, go to 29 minutes. 29 minutes. And reset. I'm at 2910. Yeah, that's perfect. Sorry, I was uh, speaking, but I was. I do, as an American, I had to uh, silence the room to pay respects to that uh, Windsor Block V8. Um, but yeah, so as I was going to say, Mauricio Delgado appears to have been able to capitalize on uh, Takahiti Maruaka going a little bit wide through that turn. Um, and yeah, worked out for him. So up to seventh. Leo Bob has actually been doing very well. Up, in, He's in sixth. Ooh, that's like, good. Looks like John Spriggs is unable to put the herd on Richard DeRoche in spite of having better pace the last few laps. With that said, though, Takahita Maroka is uh, no slouch, and he appears to be applying pressure to the uh, Mauricio man. I ever get mad? Do you remember? Was the M was the uh, three series a, a coupe back then, or this or a sedan? No, it was a coupe. So interesting. I was talking well, with a friend the other day on the uh, the terminology of uh, coupe versus sedan and stuff like that, and uh, we got to oh, looking at some of these Maxime. cars. Maxime's going sliding. I think Maxime's just chilling out and uh, having a drift session. He's vibing. Well, maybe not. He did that a couple of uh, the last race. All right, now we're looking at Sean Spriggs. There's With that, door. the checkered flag waves. Desire Drum again demolishing everyone. Wow, best lap 118.397. That is phenomenal. He uh, knocked, I think, six tenths off his last best. Oh, Yikes. boy, that's a. And he's that's well a over a second good. ahead from uh, anyone else. Desired, gosh, these take it easy on them. They're 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 only children. Don't slap the children. They're just younglings. Master Skywalker, there's too many of them. What are we going to do? In my opinion, the younglings are wrong or evil. Damn it. Are you threatening me, Master Jedi? <laughs> I loved that when you said that. Don't even so. think about it. We got headlights flashy flashy for race three to start, and it'll happen. Now, 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 yes, go, 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 go. Josiah Drum, like a rocket ship, because he's a cheater. How now. dare you choose oh, the no. Audi? Josiah! Oh no, he's spun! No, he got tapped from behind. Who tapped him, I wonder? Maybe it was John Spriggs, who is also... He's on a good race now. Yeah. Well, now he's got to actually make some uh, some room. Josiah is mega, though. He's he's great at that. Whoa! Martin Edmonds hits an errant curve. And scariness almost happens. Takahita Maroka holding up first place, but Mauricio Delgado with that Mustang. He's got the one straight on lock. Oh no, who leapfrogs oh, from third into first. 
Martin oh, Edmonds has a look on by. the inside. What's that, Matt? Martin wants to get by. You can, he's, he's all over the back. And Josiah Jerome rockets into third place from, I think it was seventh in the last two turns. Oh, boy. <laughs> Audi is flying. Josiah is doing what we in the industry call seal clubbing. <laughs> That's that quattro power. Wait, what is what is the freaking window sticker on there? Why is it all why does it why is it all offset? It's got like a a trailing thing. What, what is that? Huh? Me sponsorship. Oh, the say goes to the dive on Mr. Seal. Oh, there yep. is wow. Leo Bob. Who is that going back? That's Leo Bob, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you can just see the pace difference. I mean, not right now, but before you could. <laughs> and that Audi. Gosh, it's so... It's brutal. I almost don't want to watch. It's like a train wreck. And the cars are everywhere. Takahita America goes super wide in the second to last corner. Was that Takahita? I think so. He just fell a couple of places, so I assume so. This reminds me of the NSU racing. Everyone's just so close. You're not wrong, you're not wrong. So now, ah, yes, the uh, the leaderboard is as it should be. The two V8s out front and everyone in the back. Very good. Turbo 4. Actually, I think the, I'm not sure if the BMW is a turbo 4 or just a 4 cylinder. Natural they, I, don't, I, th I don't think they allow turbos. I'm pretty sure they're a natural. I don't think they allowed any turbos up until like two years ago. Uh. Let's see here. And Eric yep. Roche is in the thick of it. Uh, between uh, Maxime, Steve Davidson, him, Takeda Maroka, and Scott Nick. There's a big old train, and you could even extend that to Martin Evans. Oh, I think that was Richard DeRoche. No, it was Taka. No, Taka went spinning. Poor Taka there. That's a fortunate friend. No. Oh, that's a crunch up BMW. Ooh, it doesn't look great. Okay, let's turn off the straight. It's a long hairpin right. That tightens into, uh, or loosens. Very cool. What's that? You're into the rallying. You should do the pace notes. Uh, I should do the pace notes. Uh, I left somewhere, right also somewhere. There we go, there, there. Well, oh, Richard's getting squeezed under the grass. There's the cutback on Scott Nick. Yeah, I think that was a, I think that was a maybe miscalculated move by Scott Nick. Not sure I what he was Scott thinking. I think Scott was wanted to kind of stop him from overtaking on the outside there and I guess he just broke too late allowed Darushi to do the undercut so as, just as I say that almost the group kind of separates into subgroups we now have Steve Davidson versus Maxine Maxi31 uh, Scott Nick versus Richard Darushi and Martin Edmonds versus Martin Edmonds versus himself that too. <laughs> you cannot tell Martin he is his own worst enemy. I uh, don't get the reference. I didn't mean to call you that. It's it's a it's a, it's a song. Well, really, I I got wonder if it was. What really? Interesting that I was looking at Wikipedia and apparently DTM as a series has had just the most bizarre naming conventions. So the Deutsche Tourenwagen Meisterschaft, which is German Touring Car Championship, which you would reasonably abbreviate as DTM, apparently wasn't called the DTM. It was DRM. But apparently it wasn't called the DTM until 2000, when 
it was officially marketed as DTM. But everyone called it DTM before then. But interestingly, they also changed that in the year 2000 to Deutsche Tourenwagen Masters. So not even Masterschaft anymore. So they, they're mixing up English, I guess. The Germans are just, they're messing with it. A little too much there. Guys, we're gonna, we are going to use all, all the languages. We're going to use Spanish in our Quattro system. We are going to use English next sometimes. Up, next up is Slovakian. We are serving whatever is in the punch bowl. Delicious, delicious soap. Uh, but yes, I was uh, attempting to look up the engine they used. Yeah, the Unitron oh, yes. computers. Yes, in 1990, turbochargers were banned. In 84 through 89, they were allowed, but in 90, they were banned. And Richard DeRoche spins, oh no, he's in the... No, that's Leo Bob. Nope. I was, uh... I, I was... believe they used Group 5 cars in the 80s for ETM. Uh, I thought it was Group A. I thought I thought DTM was a spin-off of Group 5, because Group 5 kind of, like, did the thing that all racing does and got really expensive. So they're like, uh, we're going to call it something different. But I'm not actually sure. Oh, yeah, no, 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 you're right, you're right. It was, uh... DRM. Oh, okay. You were, you were. Oh, I thought you were making a, 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 a digital rights management joke. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Deutsche Rennsport Meisterschaft. Dude, I'll show you my Meisterschaft. Whoa, that's a little. Uh... Hey, cool. Hey, it's okay. You can admit it. In 1977, Group 5 cars weren't admitted into the series, breaking the series' spare support with Group 5 cars. Then yeah, the I, I, admitted, I admitted you were right. I just... Especially the Porsche 935 outpowered F1 cars, yeah, it did. Yeah, yep. Which is crazy, because in the in the 80s, like they were running like some like 1,400 horsepower and qualifying trim in those F1 cars, so... Yeah, but they'd do like one lap and the engine would just melt. And I would have it no other way. Wait, this is weird. Whoa! In, oh, Sorry, go ahead. in 1982, following FIA rule changes, new Group C sports cars replaced the Group 5 machinery. That's, so they moved from Group 5 to Group C for DRM? That's weird. Yeah, so talk about sky rising costs. Holy crap. Hey oh, guys. Yeah. We're going to move from silhouettes to literally prototypes, but still call it the same thing. Yep. I Close see no problem rate. with this. And those guys... It was a 936 in 1982, then... It was a 956 in 1983, 956B in 1984, with Stefan Bell off at the wheel. And, hmm. por and a Porsche 956 in 1985. Well, thanks for that, then, uh, that recap yeah. of the last four years of uh, DRM. Good to know. Anytime. Although Maxime has uh, made his way up to sixth. Right behind Scott Nick. Who spins? Maxime up oh, to fifth. No. Wow, commentator's curse going on, I suppose. Martin Emmons is in fourth now. Scott Nick recovers just You'll behind say, Steve Davidson. Uh, with little chance of Leo Bob catching him. And as that happens, we see uh, we see Richard Rosha going on two wheels, but also white flag waving. White flag waving, last lap. Shut up, cool. But, but, but it's true. This is, the last, this is the last lap. No, there's no end. It never oh. ends. Okay. That's a little bit track limits at Martin. Oh, hey, jeez. <laughs> Getting a little bit... Get a little bit lax on the definition of, of uh, track limit, eh, there? It's okay. Martin, our al almighty uh, overlord, he's safe from those petty rules. So apparently in 96, the, uh, the winner of the DTM 
championship was an Opal Calibra V6, four-wheel four drive. Yeah, in the mid-90s, they were just crazy. It was so weird. So many different, like, cars winning. From 84, you have the 6 Series, 85, the Volvo 240, 86, the Rover V8 Vitesse, 87, the M3, 88, the Ford Sierra, 1990, the V8 Quattro, it's all over the place. <laughs> Meanwhile, checker flag is now waving. I would kill to see. I wonder what the uh, Rover V8 Vitesse. I'm looking at it. DTM car looks like. And with hey, that, that's ugly. Over. That's an ugly looking car. It looks like a Citroen. Kind of does. We have Josiah Jerome winning our race with a uh, just obliterating everyone, of course. Mirza Delgado in second place, holding off his rivals with uh, with a plum. Richard DeRoche in third, Martin Evans fourth, Maxime in fifth, Steve Davidson in sixth, Scott Nick in seventh, Leo Bob in eighth, John Spriggs ninth, Takahita Maroka in tenth, and Evil Head Seas Dunf. That wasn't a race. That was a bloodbath. That was a slaughter. It was a slaughter. I kind of, I'm a little, I mean, we're not for the fact that it kind of sucks on longer courses. I would be surprised if the Audi V8 would, uh, would be allowed oh and here we get a look of the new renault i believe that's a clio that's a tcr clio clio tcr uh which has just now been added to race room so if you want that go get one nah i'll pass i kind of want it it looks like it looks cool i'm a big fan I, I like renault's cars i've never owned one and i probably never will because import restrictions but they do look cool anyhow that was our sixth round of the dtm 92 sunday and chill series i am cole that's matt well we hope that you enjoyed it we wished you would join us next round when we go to oxersleben i just looked this up oxersleben i'm about 80 percent certain it's oxersleben yeah. but yeah that'll be our last yep it's oxersleben so uh series finale Series finale indeed. And it's going to be at the Motorcycle A course, so the, the short layout. Um, and uh, I think it'll be fun. Hopefully we have more people, but, you know, with 11, won't be too bad. Anyway, if you liked this, join us, esr-race.org. We have a Discord, all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, we uh, if you want to start doing racing, this is actually a great introduction because... Excuse me, because Race Room is a free game. A lot of these tracks are cheaper. Um, and I think all the tracks we've been doing here, or most of them, are in the starter pack. So you can get it really cheap. And, uh, you know, chill out. Have some fun. This is very low stakes. We have people going in and out all the time. So we hope that you'll join us. Anyhow, any last words? X-Wing Adeliciousness is your chosen name this week. Yeah, I like to change it up, you know. Anyway, you guys should pop on by to the server. Yeah, it'd be a good time. Join us. Chat a bit. Maybe occasionally talk about some racing. We, occasionally talk about we can, we can make fun of Matt together. It's fun. Anyhow, it's been fun. We'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye. <laughs>